guys, how's it going? Welcome Hi guys. to Unconquered Training, number 28. Uh, today we've, uh, we're going to Germany. We're going to do a German workout. We're doing a workout called Friend Alumda. It sounds yeah. like the name of someone's winky. <laughs> 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 Wake up in the morning. Morning, friend. Morning, friend. Oh. Anyway, yeah, we're going to Germany. We, we haven't made this up, we just made this up. <laughs> so it's Friend with some double unders. But it's a bit of a variation on Friend. Instead of doing a barbell thruster, we do a single arm implement. We put the dumbbell there, but if you have a kettlebell, uh, no troubles at all. If you don't have dumbbells or kettlebells, um, you can do it as a, and you've got a barbell, let's just do it as an empty bar uh, friend. Um, if you want to do the 40 kilos, you can. RX weights on the dumbbell thruster would be 22 and a half kilos. Um, that's obviously not 21, 15, 9 reps on each arm. That's just the same as the workout that we did earlier on the week on the Monday with the 50 uh, dumbbell thrusters. Yeah. Um, you can change as that arm gets tired. Just swap over from there and continue on to get more 21 reps. Um, so with the barbell thruster, you know, uh, same thing, obviously, racking up and overhead there. Into a pull-up or a supine row, like a classic uh, friend workout. Um, so anywhere, if you're able to have a pull-up rig or, again, underneath the dining room table, um, on the tree now the whole tree thing like maybe it should stop saying tree because l lately we're seeing a lot of instagram posts of people doing pull-ups and trees and trees breaking <laughs> so just make sure the tree's nice and sturdy um, so be careful of that make sure you guys test the implements that you're going to be hanging off make sure that they're safe um, and then into a double under skip uh, we're going to double the reps of the skipping all righty so 42 30 18 um, that is four time so germany we're heading to germany friend or under for the day. Yep. We'll have a look at movement standards and that in a second. Uh, again, we'll run through those joint circles. And then from there, we're gonna go three rounds of a 400 meter run, 10 squat, 10 push up, 10 sit up, 10 meter bear crawl and three broad jumps. We've done that a lot inside the box, um, that nice basic workout. Again, like run, find a, a, a space outside where you can go for a jog. If you can't jog, just start warming up through that skipping. Same sort of time. Uh, in a warm up, a 400 meter run is going to take somewhere around two minutes. So you're going to be turning those ropes over just nice and gently for a couple of minutes um, into 10 squats. So squat width with the feet, uh, hips back, knees out, crease of the hip below the crease of the knee, and stand. 10 push up, down there, push on back up, sit up, feet together, sit on up, touch the ground in front of you. Bear crawl, bear crawl is that interesting one where. Uh, most people look like that. <laughs> We're trying to, in an ideal world, keep our uh, legs straight, arms straight. I'm trying to get up nice and close. And walk across. Don't know why they call it a bed crawl, but anyway, they do. Uh, into three broad jumps. So just like yesterday, you're going to jump back down three times. Obviously, if those knees are feeling a little sore from yesterday from all the jumping, just keep that jumping nice and light, you know, just do it. One, two, three, nice light jumps there. It's a friend all under. Um, get that one done for time. Um, oh yeah, movement standards. So movement standards for that thruster. So single arm dumbbell thruster, squat, press, squat, press. I can change up there, then down, squat, press the whole time. I'm trying to keep my chest up, keep that elbow up. Just like I'm playing spotlight at night with the kids. Squat, press up and overhead. Um, obviously barbell thruster in that rack position there. A little hard to get the bar on my shoulders when it's only a stick, but you get the gist of it. Elbows nice and far forward. Squat, press up and overhead there. Yeah? Yeah, boo. Uh, supine row, pull up. We know what that sort of stuff looks like. Use the bottom of the table. Use those uh, the ring rows. Um, you can potentially, if you have a squat rack, uh, you know, tuck a bar across there and do the supine rows underneath there if a, a pull-up isn't something that uh, you're able to do. And again, if you are doing pull-ups off a tree and stuff, just make sure that that thing's nice and sturdy and not half dead. Uh, double under skip, two turns of the rope, one jump. If you're doing single umbers, <laughs> single umbers, it's like down for any front for lumber, <laughs> you're double under. Singles, skips, you got to double that again. So you're looking at 84, 60, 36. Alrighty, that's 30 seconds. That's good maths, Paul. Yes. 
Yeah. Like, I think so. From yeah. there, little break. Then we're going to go into a core set. We're going to run through this core set twice. Two minute plank on those planks and create those movements. I can't move my leg that way. Hmm. I'm standing on it. 30 seconds rest. One minute hollow rock. So a hollow rock, we're going to get into that hollow body position. There, I'm going to be rocking on that small part of my back. Make it easier, make it easier. Curl up in a ball into my easiest position there. So you can call it, curl up into a ball, no problems at all, and just rock and roll around. 30 seconds rest, one minute into those v sits Boom, boom. And again, I'll move my way back up towards my knees and into that jackknife position. So going from a hollow rock to a V-sit, tough day. Oh, that's a tough, that's day. A tough day. That's a tough day. Um, rest one minute after the V-sits, and go back to the top. Um, it says plank, sorry. So first one do a plank, second one do a dead bug. We'll write that up just so you've got a, uh, a bit of a variance on there. And it's right, dead bug. Alrighty, we'll pop that up on the, on yeah, the Waterfly on, on so you guys know what, what's going on. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you guys uh, early next week. We'll tell, actually, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, boom. Tell you what you're doing tomorrow. Oh, it's a boomer. Oh. Oh.